Well, hey everyone, it's Kat and welcome to my channel. I'm over 50 years old and I love makeup and skincare products. And today we are gonna be testing, reviewing, swatching, and doing a look with Charlotte Tilbury's brand new Bejeweled Eyes to Hypnotize. And I can't wait to test this out with you and see if it's worth that expensive price. So in case you're interested, then keep on watching. <music> Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Cat's Eye Beauty. And if you're new here, thanks so much for stopping by. Please consider subscribing. I would love it if you would be a part of my family. And don't forget to hit that little notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. Okay, Charlotte Tilbury came out with a brand new eyeshadow palette and it's called Bejeweled Eyes to Hypnotize. It went on sale for a hot 48 hours and then of course they took it away to sell it at a later date for the holiday season. I can't help but think of uh, the finishing spray. I had it in my cart. Remember they offered it for 48 hours, then they took it away and then they brought it back. So it's the same situation here, but I did get it and I was super excited. And I couldn't wait to share it with you. Now it is $75. Dude, I have never paid $75 for an eyeshadow palette. My husband would shoot me if he heard me right now. But in the name of science and the pure morbid curiosity, I wanted to check her out. And it has four separate color stories. Happy Glow, Love Glow, Dream Glow, and Seduce Glow. Okay, we're, we're gonna be seducing some people tonight. Okay, so let's go over the specs of Miss Hypnotize. Encased in a dazzling silver starburst case, this magical palette features the same light as air matte and magical metallic formulas found in a globally loved palette, as well as two brand new, oh two, okay two, brand new soft shimmer and weightless wet look metallic formulas. The easy to build shades play with the light beautifully, whether you want to create the happy glow look with glowing golden topaz shades, love glow, a sophisticated ruby smoky eye, dream glow, an amethyst inspired gaze with warm violet and metallic hues, or seduce glow, a molten smoky quartz look with chocolate browns. I'm sorry guys, I checked out some other Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow palettes Pillow Talk comes to mind, and I couldn't help but notice the Dream from Pillow Talk looks so similar to the Love Glow, as well as the Date looks very similar to Seduce. Now, as you can see, it does come in a beautiful silver case with the Charlotte Tilbury emblem right through here. So let's open her up. And as you can see, it's very tutorial right here. So you've got Happy, Love, Dream, and Seduce. So we're just gonna hop into a look and we're gonna swatch some of these. What was interesting to me is all four color stories have a matte shade except for the Dream, which is the amethyst inspired shade. I really love this cranberry shade here in the Love. Let's, oh, that matte shade is so buttery. Let's go ahead and swatch it right through here. Now this is from the Love story. Here's the shimmer shade from Love. And that looks kind of coppery and I'm gonna swatch it right through here. That's beautiful too. And then let's take the shimmer shade from Love Glow right through here. That's stunning as well. And I'm gonna put it right through here. Beautiful. You think I'm gonna do a neutral look, right? Not today, baby. And I'm gonna go in with the Dream Glow, which is the amethyst inspired look. And you know what, hello. I washed all my brushes. <laughs> it's about time. I actually did that. So if you want to see a video on how I wash my brushes, super easy. They're actually clean. I'm excited. Let's dive into a look. I'm going to go in with Happy Glow, that second matte shade right through here. And I'm going to take it on my clean Real Techniques brush and tap some and see if not too bad. And so I'm going to go right in my transitional shade and just go right through here. And I just want to define my upper eyelid. I mean, okay, not shocking. It's a good shade. It is a neutral shade, but I just want to give some definition to that area right through here. Now, in case you're wondering what I'm wearing on my foundation, I'm using the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better foundation plus skincare, but I also underneath primed with the 
Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter Primer slash Highlighter, whatever you want to call it. And then I also went in with the Rare Beauty Blush in Happy. And this time I didn't like use too much and it actually gave my skin such a healthy glow. And of course I primed my eyes with the MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. But so far this is looking really nice, of course. I mean, it's a nice neutral shade. Okay. I'm kind of befuddled because all three shades are shimmers, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go in with the second shade through here. It's almost like a rose gold color and I'm gonna take it on this brush. I think it's a BH Cosmetics brush. I'm gonna go ahead and just go over my crease and just, I'm supposed to enhance, right? And hopefully it's not too shimmery. And just kind of, ooh, so pretty. Now, you can't get this right now on the Charlotte Tilbury website, but you can get on the emailing list to order it, to pre-order it if you will. I ordered it when I had two sips of coffee. I was barely awake and I was like, oh, that's pretty. Cha-ching. Okay, that's pretty. A lot of people have been saying that Charlotte Tilbury's eyeshadow palettes are so redundant. Like they just come out with the same shades and they just rename them and put them in different palettes and call them a different palette. And you know what? Uh, I don't know. I mean, possibly. I'm somewhat of a neophyte with Charlotte Tilbury. I just started getting into some of her products, but I have to say all of her products that I've used are stunning, expensive, but really beautiful. Now I'm just gonna take a clean fluffy Mac brush and just soften that up. I mean, they blend like a dream, but at that price, I expect it to. And of course, these colors are stating that they are universally flattering on all skin tones. We'll see about that. Now, going in with that same brush, I'm gonna go right into that amethyst purple color, right through here. And I'm just going to go on the outskirts of my outer corner right through here and stamp it. Ooh and bring it just a little bit in. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, nice. And with that same clean fluffy brush, I'm gonna go ahead and blend and try to bring it into my crease. It is blending super easily. Is that a word? Now with a refer brush, I'm gonna go in with that same shade that I initially started with from the Happy story and I'm just gonna line my lower lash line now to deepen that up I'm gonna go in with the seduce glow on the same brush and smoke it out a little bit more what I'm going to do next and take a morphe brush and I'm gonna take some smashbox primer and spray it in the opposite direction. Get it a little damp. And what I wanna do is I wanna go back into that amethyst shade and I'm gonna line my lower lash line with it. Now, with the first shade of the amethyst glow, I'm gonna go ahead and take my finger and tap that on my lid. And I'm gonna blend out those harsh edges. Oh, pretty so far. Nice. I do have to admit, it's super easy to blend. That is really pretty. Now on a Sigma E46, I'm gonna go in with Love Glow on that really lightest pinkest champagne color and I'm just gonna go in my inner corner. Ooh. That's pretty, wow. And just slightly take it up to brighten up that inner eye. Okay, 
and then take whatever's left on it and just hit right under my eyebrow. Pretty. Now with a glamorous look like this, I do need eyeliner. So let's go ahead and do eyeliner and mascara. Final look everyone. Now for eyes, I went in with the Roller Eyeliner from Benefit. I absolutely love that eyeliner. And for mascara, of course, I went in with the Thrive Cosmetics Tubing Formula. I find that it offers a lot of length without a lot of clumps, and it just gives me that natural, long, luscious eyelash. Can lashes be luscious? I guess. And then for highlighter, I went in with the Ofra Midi Palette in Blissful. This is such a stunning highlighter that's a combination of rose gold, and I find on my complexion, it just adds the perfect amount of glow without being too shiny. Now for lips, I went in with something way more affordable, the Maybelline Lifter Lip Gloss in Petal. I find it such a beautiful shade of pink that goes really well with my complexion. But we are talking about the Bejeweled Eyes to Hypnotize Eyeshadow Palette. Now remember, it retails for $75 and you get 12 shades, two that are being touted as new. Is it a recycled Pillow Talk eyeshadow palette with just Dream Glow thrown in there? I'm beginning to wonder, you know, if you don't have a lot of Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow products and you're just starting out, this is very beginner friendly. I think you would really love it because you do have some beautiful neutral color stories here as well as pops of really nice holiday colors. And I trust me, this is going to come out right before the holiday. I mean, it is beautiful. It is very expensive, but remember you're getting four different color stories and two of which are neutral that I think that you could use every single day. And then for that little extra holiday glow, you can pull from Love Glow as well as Dream Glow. Like I said, if you don't have a lot of her eyeshadow palettes, this would be very beginner friendly. But if you do have Pillow Talk, you probably don't need this whatsoever. And I found a lot of these shades are super similar to other eyeshadow palettes that I have seen on her website. So I don't know, it's entirely up to you. If you're a diehard Charlotte Tilbury fan, I'm sure you have these shades already. But if you're like me and you don't have a lot of her eyeshadow palettes, this is pretty ideal. Are you thinking about picking up the Bejeweled Eyes to Hypnotize? I'm not sure of the release date. You would probably have to keep your eyes open for that, but I think it's beautiful. Is it expensive? Absolutely. Do I think it's worth it? For me, it is. And I will use this every single day so I can get my money's worth. But it is a beautiful formula. It swatches beautifully. It blends easily and it has those pops of color as well as the neutrals that I so love. But in my next upcoming video, finally, I'm gonna be reviewing some drugstore makeup that I can't wait to share with you. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I would love it if you would be a part of my family. And for more reviews on makeup and skincare, check out these videos over here. But for now, kita. I love you. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye. You better do my laundry and do a perfect wing and Massage my feet. 50 bucks, Grandpa, for 75, the wife can watch. Mad props if you know that movie. Bye!